Now Boateng stabs it through. Books ahead up. Floats across. Takedown in the box. Buchanan. Big shout for a penalty again. Buchanan, and this time, they don't need a call. Tejan with the breakthrough. The Rams are up one. The dam had to break eventually, Charlie Davies. Finds the back of the net. But this is fantastic from the Revolution. They kept going, kept going. This time, it's Adam Buxa who's trying to create the goal. Gets to the feet of your one of your most dynamic 1v1 players. The Whitecaps take on Minnesota, but here a cool night by the Lake Shore as Toronto FC look to try and get some momentum after a decent end to that game against Montreal. But here's an early chance for Philadelphia. Yeah. They've taken the lead after just 30 seconds here at BMO Field. Alejandro Padoya with the early goal for Jim Curtin's side. Dreadful start for Toronto. There's a run from Shabilko. Bradley should take that. Mavinga should hold his position. It draws in Lawrence and it leaves Badoya all alone. Really clever from the Hungarian Gazdag. Here's Auro down the right side. Shaquille Marshall Rutti is in space here, but Auro. Delayed the pass, here it comes to the 17-year-old. You feel Marshall Rutty's ball in, just a foot to it, diverts it away. Okello tried to get there. Still a chance for Altador! And Josie Altador ties it up. His second goal in as many games. And it's 1-1. That's probably the error there from Shabilko, trying something a bit too inventive on the edge of his own box. And there's Altidore, what a finish past Matt Freese before he can move. Play towards Altidore. Lawrence. Schaffelberg's ball driven in and it's an own goal! And TFC come from behind to take the lead with two goals in the space of five minutes. And they're rewarded here with another innocuous goal. It's an own goal, obviously you don't see them too often, but it's all down to quality, and Jack Elliott knows he has to make the challenge. Terro down the line for Wagner. Decent cross into the middle. And it's tied at 2-2 with Sergio Santos, the substitute, scoring the goal. And once again, hurting Toronto FC. And what a ball. Terrific delivery into the box from Wagner. Sergio Santos drift off his back shoulder. Well, it's in about four or five yards of space in between. Tati Castellano steps up. He is three of four on penalty kicks this season. Chicago has conceded four penalties. They've only saved one. Tati looking for his 16th of the season, and he buries it. And New York City scores against Chicago. They lead one to nothing. As Tati Castellano gets his 16th of the season. It is a penalty kick, and the man with the confidence in a big moment like this, this is a huge pressure moment, and you want your confident players taking it. Higuain versus Guzak. Goal! Beautifully taken. Pipa Higuain puts it away, and Inter Miami, in a must-win scenario, lead in Atlanta. You talk about the talisman for this team, Gonzalo Higuain. Confident strike there, just waits for Brad Gazan to commit a little bit. Araujo, go! It's brilliant from the Brazilian. And Atlanta United are back, 1-1 at the Benz. Just the reaction that he needed in the second half. Barco's alive and he draws a frown. Lovely delivery this time. Robinson needed all the pace that he had. And Atlanta United can start their attack. Franco out for Lennon. A piercing pass. Alouju threads the needle. Joseph Martinez in a goal. Martinez scores. And this one counts. Atlanta United lead. Clinical from Martinez. Where he can 
Just get the ball out of his feet. Doesn't even need a first touch. Calm, composed, finish. As a playmaker, his instinct is to go to goal, but he had a three on two that he squandered. Roberto will get on this at Neil a speed pass comes across and Paredes puts it in. Kevin Paredes to open the scoring. DC United with the early lead. Nobody picks up. Paredes coming down on the left side. Yeah, we listen, we've talked about this all season, so I think for Castillo, you know, you know what you're going to expect, right? You've, you've got a very dependable you know, player, he's versatile, but playing as a fullback too, and I think the biggest thing, the biggest attributes that you look for too, can he defend? Petunian in across to Vasquez! Brandon Vasquez for the third straight game, puts it in the back of the net, off of feet from Petunian in the orange and blue, strike first. How Brandon Vasquez has impacted the game, having that presence and having that physical assertion to just to get in front of the center back and ends up taking a deflection. The only penalty Brenner has attempted in Major League Soccer was against Willis and he scored it. The Brazilian will march it off, steps to the ball and punches it past Willis. Cincinnati leads by a pair. We talked about just rest and how important this would be for Brunner. Look at the execution. It's sharp. It's composed. Very similar to this on April 17th. Nashville scored one at by this point of the first half. Mukhtar sends it into the 18. Headed down and past Vermeer. Walker Zimmerman on the header. Set piece goal to Nashville. Cuts FC Cincinnati's lead in half. 12 yards, 13 yards back from the ball would have made a difference with that type of service in probably not but anyway the ball is played in Walker Zimmerman again Vasquez with an interception across the midfield keeps it himself trying to split two defenders turns fires Vasquez has a goal for the third consecutive game and there's your answer for the orange and blue Space. He has the confidence to pull the trigger. He understands where Joe Willis is. And again, another. Love it's back to Romney. Town is scoring opened up on an own goal off the foot of Romney. Look, dark. Johnston on the right side. Serves into the 18. Cameron heads away, but it falls to Leal. And Randall Leal has another goal against Cincinnati. Three to two. Yeah, it's just. That's frustrating, like I mentioned. More opportunities for the opponent to get back into it. The strike again. Play out, a guy of quality. I talked about him before. And yet another free kick opportunity here for Nashville. About 40 yards away. Mukhtar. Into the 18. Zimmerman on the header, and it's pushed past Vermeer. CJ Sapong finds an equalizer for Nashville. 3 3 in Cincinnati. This is what this team is known for as well, and just the delivery. Walker Zimmerman gets up high, it's strong. Towards the 18, looking for a cross, takes a deflection. Anunga on a shot, deflects out to Lauber. Right at the edge of the 18, Bailey in his face, Mukhtar. Andy Mukhtar, back to Leal, who beats Kenneth Vermeer. Nashville has come back to take a 4-3 advantage. Cincinnati.
Well, Leal again finds the pocket of Spears. We saw the first goal in the first half from Leal. It was a volley this time. After the goals were scored by Nashville. Here's Lauba breaking free across the midfield. Lauba all alone on the goalkeeper. Lauba turns, strikes. Nashville leads by a pair. The flag stayed down. Cincinnati fell apart defensively. And Nashville has a two-goal lead. Picks out the corner. Just slips out underneath Kevin Vermeer. And at this stage, Tommy, you just hop. Has had opportunities in the USL and done very well. He has not seen an opportunity yet in Major League Soccer. Here's Lauba breaking free once again. Lauba into the 18, turns on Blackett, leaves it off for CJ Sapong. Sapong turns and scores in stoppage time. Nashville icing on the cake. They're headed to the playoffs. Understands the goalkeeper is coming out. The space is behind the goalkeeper, and you can just see that little dink in between the goalkeeper and Jeff Carver. Orlando City, they've given up 44 goals. That's 14th in the league. Zellerayan looking to cue that up for Mensa, then tries again, and Miguel Berry buries it. Continuing his incredible run here in 2021, 1-0. The center of the field, almost to the penalty spot, and Celerayon sets it on a platter. Those two have quite the connection. Right past the half hour. in his eighth goal of the year. Well, he hit it with the same power as he did the first time, but this time he wraps his foot around it a little bit more, brings it across. Do you pick your moments, conservation of energy here, fourth game, 12 days, protecting a lead, when to go, when to hold your ground and defend? Zellerion. Zellerion! There's your answer. Cervania. Cervania's attempt to send the ball in was blocked, but Justin Che gets a good look. And a header is directed on goal and in. Ochoa came for it, and finally Matt Hedges, who's had chances, scores the goal. His first in the regular season for FC Dallas. A couple of things here. Look at this. He's going to hit this left foot, and that's a pretty good cross there with his, with his left foot. And I don't know what Ochoa's doing there. He's got to come. Justin Miram. Miram's got Everton over there more in the way than anything else. And Everton cleared out of there and it opened the 
ends up for Miriam to cross it, and the goal has been scored. And it's the guy I said you got to keep eyes on, Demir Krylock, number 15 of the year. It's 1-1 in the 80th minute. Pretty good there, but Krylock is just, he's just on it this year. He just finds a little sliver of space between Martinez and Hollingshead. Carte trying to reach this, but Rusnak did just enough. I'm sorry, that was Andrew Brody who did enough to slow things up. That's Rusnak shooting and scoring! Oh no! Seconds away from entering into stoppage time. An absolutely mammoth goal for Real Salt Lake and their playoff hopes, and a heartbreaker for FC Dallas. As three players go for the ball in midfield, they don't win it, and now they're a little out of shape. Maybe here's one now. Out of Kinda, Kyrie Shelton, as Derek Williams got a touch, and he had to get back to it. Kinda able to recover what was beginning as his own pass. Back in for Kyrie Shelton, lets it go. Here's Johnny Russell now, running it high the line, and Russell! Eight games in a row with a goal! Tied in space, I talked about getting out and closing down the angle, forcing him wide. You know what he wants to do? He's going to cut you back. Okay, left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. Lovely little... And Peter Vermees fully expecting Alan Polita to be available for the playoffs. Shallowy day-to-day -day was the extent of what he would say about his MVP candidate. Kinda, Johnny Russell now. Russell, what a goal! Is from this part of the field, one touch to set it up with the right foot, and he wraps all the way around. Not expecting any stoppage time here. That's the kind of half it's been. Now that's over the top for Brian White. He appears to be on side. Can Brian White chip that pass? Hillary can. Now an own goal! Credit Brian White for the hustle. It is 1 0 Vancouver. Just couldn't do it. It's a good ball for Tybert that stretches out line for the first time here tonight. White times his run finally. Very well, and then as the ball comes back up. And then finds the big stick on the goal line. And if the net is three feet further back, I think you're right, Will. It's in. Goal. Cutting it back for White! Oh, it's oh. another one! Unbelievable. Ryan White cannot be stopped! And it's a two-goal lead at BC Place. And what a swing over the last two minutes. That's got to be crushing to Minnesota United's players. And so uplifting for the home team as Brian White finishes clinically. You hear that word all the time. Makes the first one with good hustle over the top that creates the own goal. And on this one here, makes the timing to get away from the defender. And it's delineated exactly what Sartini wants his team to do right now. Finley. And that one's off the post. And now on a second effort, Addy able to put it in. And all the more reason why the white goal matters as the lead is cut in half in the 91st minute. First post that was hit. This time it comes right back to the Minnesota forwards over to Fortune for the team in gray. And Addy has come on as a substitute. It's been better from the Timbers over the last five minutes. So they seem to have a little bit in between their teeth now. They've been aggravated from San Jose and that seems to have woken them up a little bit. This is good for them. Mora, Mora cutting it back. It's in! Diego Char will take it! It's off Thompson! But the Timbers get the opening goal. 34 minutes in. It's 1-0. But you have to look at that hold-up play from Jimmy Chara. And then it's all about that combination play. The quickness, the one-two touch passing, and Mora just pulling out. There's room for Moreno forward. Asprea making a big run. Moreno looking for him. Marcinkowski gets it. Oh, he spilled it. A bicycle from Asprea! Oh, simply spectacular from Tyrone Asprea. Mr. October, take him out! Level of difficulty is at an all time high. But this man just pulled off the spectacular. One of the best moments that I have seen in this stadium.